Sun Kalanchil, known as Mouse Deer, is a well-known character appearing in Malay folklores such as the Mouse Deer and the Crocodile, the Mouse Deer and the Tiger, as well as the Mouse Deer and the Buffalo. It is portrayed as a smart, brave and diligent character and is depicted as a witchy animal. Transcending generations has become an icon of inspiration among Malaysians. Mouse deer is found widely in Southeast Asia, including Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, Singapore, Myanmar, and of course Thailand. It is the smallest known hoof mammal, with a head body length of 45 cm and a weight of 2 kgs. Upon reaching maturity, it is about the size of a rabbit. Having a long pointed face and slender limbs, the male mouse deer will develop fangs. Mouse deer is agile nocturnal and good at hiding. Often hiding in the daytime, they can be found living in grasslands, forests, savanna, and shrublands. Feeding on shoots, young leaves, and of course fallen fruits in the tall forests of the lowlands. Sun Kanchil was once known as Malaysia's cultural icon. Every single Malaysian knew with folk tales. No matter what race or religion, they can recite the story by heart. Older group of people used to use the kanchil, the mouse deer, as an example of how you can be smart and you can outwit people, uh, animals that are older than, uh, bigger than you. And so it's able to escape. And I think it is because of the way it moves. Uh, it's campus. Uh, it doesn't walk normally. So it's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. 给我的印象应该是嗯，上甘蔗是一个很机智、很聪明，而且非常有智慧的一个呃一只动物。我那不得劲，一只上甘蔗都，你不是都不得应该那不都甘蔗，应该那苹果，好。You see, yeah, once upon a time when there was no TV, uh, mothers used to tell stories to the kids. Uh, we actually had oral storytellers in the ancient days. He will go from village to village and he will tell stories. And of course, sometimes he might even wear a costume. Then he will get up, he will make motion. Maybe the voice will go up and down. Maybe he has instrument to create music. So it was almost like a one-man theater. So for some reason, uh, stories have a, a strong attraction for students, you know. And I think it is because they are more in the right brain mode, which is imaginative, which goes for elements of fantasy and things like that. And especially when animals talk, it is actually real fantasy. How can animals talk? But children just love it. And you can look, you look at their faces when they're watching. 100% concentration. Therefore, when mothers tell stories, because it's the mother telling the story, uh, it's very appealing. And then they will fall asleep while listening to the story. Next day, they want to hear the story again. Now, this has been lost. So now, mothers are busy because they are working. Fathers are busy. So they said, here's a mobile phone. Watch uh, the Disney short film. That's not the way to do it. Because when I was a kid, most of the time, I was to play and read stories. So, the enjoyment of the fun was less. But now, many kids, many of them, are focused on the phone. 很多YouTube上可以看到的那些影片都吸引他们,导致他们比较少看一些所谓的我们小时候常看的一些一眼故事。Sun Kanchil was once known as Malaysia's cultural icon. But after the evolution of modernization, Sun Kanchil has begun to lose its place in the hearts of the younger generation. Uh, 
狗。妹妹，你觉得？ Because I think it's a deer. Okay, what do you call it? Oh my God. Um. Okay, wait. Can I say it in Malay? Yeah, yeah, can. can. Okay, it's a kanchil. 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 Oh, apa tu? Kejap. Oh, Arna. Tahu, tahu, tahu. Kita tahu bukan hasil dia sulu. Yeah, ada ada mouse deer. Mouse deer. Kau tahu tak? Sang kanchil ada kisah tak? Ada. Ia pernah belajar di sekolah. Ada? Ada. Kau tahu tak? Ia adalah novel. Tidak tahu. Ah, pernah pasal yang buaya tu. The the clever one with the crocodile. Oh, pernah pernah masa kecil kecil dulu. Kau tahu tak? Di mana tak ada nilai roma? Tidak. Not really. I forgot most of it. Dia kancil tu. Ah, kejap eh. Oh, dia dengan buaya kat sungai kan? According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature (IUCN). There is a lack of interest and a lack of data about the mouse deer, including its population and ecosystem. Once a favorite literary artwork, the animal is receiving less and less attention from the young generation of Malaysia. Fortunately, there are still some people working hard to preserve the mouse deer and make its stories reach the youths. Regarded as the father of Malaysian animation, this man has created the country's first animated folklore film, Sang Kanchil series. We call him Mr. Hassan. When I was asked to make the Kanchil animation, I never imagined that I would be doing such a thing. We want to cut down the foreign animation because they are bringing culture which is totally not ours. So finally, it went down to the ground and the information minister came to visit us and then he saw the first one that had been made. It was called the tail of the mouse deer. In 1938, there were two Englishmen, uh, civil servants, working in Malaysia, uh, Arthur Hill and W. W. Skeet. <clears throat> uh, they compiled the oral stories of the mouse deer. Uh, they, heard, they went to the villagers and they heard the stories. They compiled it. And then it was published in London in 1938. It was called Salam the Mouse Deer. And uh, I have a copy of the original. When I did it, I didn't refer to any book because I already knew the story of the mouse deer and the monkey. So I knew that you know when people who are not used to eating chili, I imagine that they feel like fire is coming out of their ears. So that was the main thing in the story, and people remember it until today, and they laugh every time they see it, even though they have seen it many times. So uh, I modified the story. I made it uh, quite short, about five minutes, and it took us six months to finish. But after I left, nobody took over, and even the private sector, they didn't do anything about it. But it could have been very a cultural icon and also an icon in the in cinema. So nobody did anything about it. So it just died. When the eyebrow is high, the eyebrow come down. So it's a bad guy. Berani kau kancil? Tak tahu ke? Bayu suka makan daging kancil. Mr Ali is a farmer who raises porcupines for a living. Besides having a creature with spines and quills, Ali also raises a harmless little mouse deer. Different with his porcupines, Ali never sells the mouse deer. Instead, he loves and cherishes them deeply in his heart. 12-12 tahun pun sudah minat. Masa kita duduk kampung kan. Kita tengok ke bapak bawa balik. 
When asked for his reasons to raise a mouse deer, Ali said that he wants to protect the folklore animal from extinction. Satu tu cerita satu. Kalau kita tengok benda ni sudah sudah mau macam mau hilang dah. Tapi budak-budak ni tak tahu mana. Ini pun baru banyak ni orang sudah banyak tanya mau beli mau kita dekat tak tahu. Besides the efforts of individuals, the Malaysian government also works to inherit the folk tales of Sang Kalchil. The Sang Kalchil story is incorporated as part of the syllabus in this primary school curriculum. Realizing that children pay more attention to digital stories and devices rather than folk tales, Madam Chen, one of the senior teachers, is passionate in delivering the spiritual values of the story to her students. 从小故事当中，简单的故事当中，啊，由老师去引导学生，从中去学习他的一些价值，比如说从这个故事当中得到什么启示。Kehilitan. Dia ada bagi permit satu eko dua puluh ringgit satu tahun. Tapi mesti ada rasa nak ada permit nak ada permit tak boleh. Ada permit sepuluh ribu satu tangkap. Tak kita tak berani kita sebenarnya suka kan budak-budak kalau datang. Ini orang punya mulut kan kalau dia sudah datang dia mesti di luar dia cerita mau tengok pergi sana tempat. Sekarang ni kita kata free aja lah. Budak-budak suka tengok. It was only very much later when students got into 3D, there was a company called Lay Copa that did open and open. So they started to do it uh, using 3D. But somehow or other, it didn't become as successful as the one that I did, which is now being reposted on YouTube again and again. And people are saying, why they are not making film like this? We are already fed up with Boy 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 and Open and Open. Because it's human character. This is an animal character. It actually appeals to people. And you know, stories like this actually create a psychological maturity among young kids, you know. They love to see this, and then it helps them, well, it helps for the message to get across to them. You have to have the human voice uh, describing things, and the visuals appear in the mind of the person. So it's not just about making films based on these stories, but also mothers, parents at home, they should tell stories orally. Because once upon a time, stories were not meant to be read, it was meant to be heard. One day, Sankan Chilke was a man. He was a man who 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 was a man. Akan tetapi, Sang Kancil tahu bahawa di dalam sungai tersebut terdapat seekor buaya yang sedang menanti dan akan memakannya. Dia akan menjerit, aku nak tahu air ini panas atau tidak. Jadi aku akan letakkan kaki aku dahulu untuk memastikannya. Abari ini tidak ada yang berlaku di dalam sungai tersebut. Dia akan menjerit, aku nak tahu air ini panas atau tidak. Matur muniyai artil betul. Akan tetapi sang kancil tidak meletakkan kakinya. Anda tahunnya me, muda lagi, ini sang kancil ini kahalin dengan itu kundu, urane ur kabu kabiye. Hahaha, pada muka kabuaya tak tahu beza ke kaki dengan ranting. Matur artil sri itu kundu, matur artil teri, tanir guri ke cendera. On another day, sang kancil wanted to cross the river and eat the delicious fruits. And shoots from the other side. He called out, "Crocodile!" Crocodile rose up from the water. "Hello, Sang Kanchil. I have orders from the king. The king wants me to count the number of crocodiles. So I want you and your friends to gather from one end to the other side of the river." Sang Kanchil climbed up to the top of the cliff and said, 
然后又跳上了下一条鳄鱼，说：“二。”然后是第三条，三、四、五、六、七、八。三杆杖一直跳啊跳，直到跳到河的另一边。一共有多少？鳄鱼问道。够啦，三杆杖说：“你们可真傻。”然后他哼着歌，守了我。又敏捷又聪明，你是呀是，但就是抓不到我。其实动物跟人是有关系的，有时候我们可以从动物当中得到启发。And there was one Facebook reader,、uh, one of my Facebook friends,、uh, he said I enjoyed the mouse deer story so much, and actually this is the film that turned me into a moral person. 就像呃，他的故事中遇到呃那个上瓦耶要吃他的时候，他临危不乱，很沉稳，然后会马上机智的一边通想办法去把把危机化掉，所以就可以顺利呃达到他的目标。而这个故事可以说是我们本土才有的故事，因为它是由埋故事。所编制而成的，再加上我们这里靠近马六甲，所以当我们讲起这个三杆桥的时候呢，他就会想起，哎，马六甲起源。Even though it was so simple, the story was so simple, I never even imagined, you know, that it would create the kind of sensation that it has created. So I just did it with one more thing, with heart. Mouse deer is not only an animal, but also a valuable heritage. It is rooted in Malaysian history and culture. The mouse deer story represents the wisdom of our ancestors. It symbolizes the spirit of courage, intelligence, and self-esteem. It is the wealth of the nation and should never be forgotten.